everyone, this is Emily, a Japanese wife living in Luxembourg. In this channel, I want to discuss with you about life, love, career, everything matters in your life through discovering about a woman who lived in end of Edo era, Princess Yachiyo. Women's career in Edo era. In Edo era, all the women worked super hard, from rich family to the poor family. In order to survive, women worked many forms. Women were known as hard workers. There were basically two different worlds in Edo era, samurai world and the others. Samurai world had rigid hierarchy that there was no freedom of romance and always family comes first when making choices. As it was hierarchy society, honor meant a lot and getting higher status was seen to be successful. For the others, they had freedom of romance, but their life was very tough that they worked so hard in order to survive. For example, one of the jobs women did was sales girls. They were at the tea house, like a cafe these days, or at the noodle restaurants or restaurants. Being beautiful and cheerful was seen to be important that some girls became popular among the time. Another typical type of work was prostitute. Prostitute includes courtesan who worked official red light district. And to illegal prostitute in many different occasions, old women in Hammam, some places beyond the sea. It was very risky work since there was syphilis going around and working environment was tough, often not hygienic. Still, beautifully dressed courtesan was popular and one of the things women had to choose to survive. Another thing was, of course, the farmers. In Edo era, Rice was more important and essential in Japan than these days. It is said that 85% of populations were farmers in the nation. Another thing was the specialists. This includes from shamisen teacher, a Japanese traditional instrument, and to the teacher in private school for women. At the time, being a teacher in private school didn't require a license, so any woman with knowledge could become a teacher. There were also hairstylists to make a particular Japanese hairstyle. Every sometime the government issued ban of hairstyling to others, still was in great need. Being a midwife was also a job, but again, there was no license for being midwife, so people trusted midwife depending on the numbers of experiences. In, other, in another world, samurai hierarchical society, Confucianism was important. It is said that low class samurai families had the same life as the public. So, only high-class samurai family could enjoy the benefit of gorgeousness. As you know, the top of samurai was Tokugawa shogunate. Therefore, the top of woman was the wife of shogunate called Nidai Dokoro or a mother of shogunate. The top top career for samurai woman was to be a part of Oku in Edo Castle. Only high class family could serve in Edo Castle except for some cases. Serving at the Edo Castle Oku was the greatest honor. Women wished to become concubine and give a birth of next shogunate. Even if not Edo Castle, Servant 
in a noble castle with great honor. Not to mention, marrying into a high class family was seen to be important and preferable. In order to do so, experience of serving in a noble castle or good and study helped samurai women to get there. In order to prepare for going into service, samurai women needed to learn four books and five classics, Shisho Gokyo, which is some Chinese related study, including Confucianism. Also, Eastern medical study, practice arts like playing Japanese harps, tea ceremony, and stuff, learning sewing and weaving. Reading and writing, many learnings were necessary. At the time, all the woman's dream was to marry into a wealthy family called Tamanokoshi. It was a known concept for everyone and was one of success for any woman. In order to make Tamanokoshi happen, the key Was to study hard and to practice forms of art. So the rich family's girls were busy learning things and practicing arts from morning to the evening. Even from the public, some people being into service for castle in all good temporary and came back for marriage. It was only some or few lucky people. With money, connection, knowledge, who could do so. Because people were desperately wanted to participate the higher class, some say over 80% of the population in the city of Edo been to private school to study. For the public, becoming temporary servant in Oku was great. Prestige, just like having Tokyo or Oxford or Stanford University on your resume these days. This experience adds absolute value for women when looking for a future husband. I want to talk about two dark sides of Edo era for women prostitute and giving birth. Prostitute Or courtesan, called yujo, they were often taken in their childhood before seven years old. When family had a bankrupt, they had no choice but to sell their daughter. When, they were, when the girls were sold in red light district, they have to learn obedience and rules of red light district. Once they started the sex work, They were not allowed to retire for the next ten years unless a super rich customer buy her out. It was a severely hard working environment with extreme rules, but there were also fashionista that some famous Japanese hairstyle started from courtesan, including Katsuyama Mage. Another thing for women was that giving birth was literally life risking. In Edo era, the ratio of b a b y died was super high, t h a t some even say s only one out of four children could become five years old. Also, some mothers died during the birth. Still, With high ratio of child mortality, women had to give birth a lot. One of the particular things about Edo era was courtesan and art. As I mentioned, courtesan have tough life, still, they had to wear gorgeous. It was a symbol of impermanent beauty. Of floating world that everything changes. It is like Sakura, the short lived beauty. Artists 
often loved to paint courtesan. Maybe because they were super gorgeous, beautiful, yet sweet sorrow. So here's the question for you today What do you wish for your career? Do you think options are better these days? In Edo era, some of the poorest families go did not have choice, like trafficking to courtesan. On the other hand, with great effort of studying and learning art, women could get the chance to do better. How is the world to you today? In the next video, it's going to be an interview time. Thank you for watching this long episode. Please put like and subscribe. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.